My name is Travis Cosentino, and I live in my van. I've been doing van life for about a year now, and I love it. This channel is going to be about vlogging. It's going to be about my life, traveling on the road as a filmmaker and photographer. This is Baby. She's a 1994 GMC Rally STX 5.7 liter V8. We've been through a lot together in the last couple of years, and I'm proud of the build that I did with her. Despite her looks, despite the fact that she has probably the ugliest steering wheel I've ever seen on a single vintage van, I still love her. Chris with Tiny Home Tours, uh, I was following him on Instagram and he had posted that he was looking for a videographer and an editor and I reached out to him. Working for Tiny Home Tours is probably one of the best jobs I've ever had simply because of the opportunity that I get to meet so many like-minded people like myself. I got into van life because I wanted to travel. I needed to, to see my country. I needed to, to meet people on the road. I needed to have those uh, experiences that I was seeing on Instagram, that I was seeing on YouTube. I knew that this was something that I wanted to do for myself. Working for Tiny Home Tours allowed me that opportunity. It, it, it allowed me to be part of that community. I love meeting the people. It's cool to see the bills and to see all the different things that people do, but that's not really my bag. For me, it's about meeting the people. It's about interviewing them. It's about getting to know their stories and getting to them to speak from their hearts, speak from their personal experiences. That to me is my bread and butter. What the fuck? This kid is driving me crazy. <laughs> Van life is, is connection. I got into this life because I wanted to meet people. I would not be where I am today if it weren't for the people that I met on the road. These people have come through for me in ways that I could have never imagined and I am eternally grateful for. That to me is, is my bread and butter. That's what I get the most out of it is, is just kind of learning their personal story and then telling it. And believe it or not, people have some pretty epic stories. So I sit in a lot of traffic, more traffic than I'd like, but it's part of the gig. I get to be on open roads, I get to see beautiful sunsets, beautiful beaches, beautiful mountains, beautiful Bigfoots, I get to see everything. I've been to lots of events like RTR and Schoolie Palooza and Tiny House Fest. I travel all over the state for that so that I can do tiny home tours and also meet awesome people along the way. In just about every one of my episodes, you're gonna see me balancing stones. I got in balancing stones right around the same time that I started doing van life and I'm hooked. It's my perfect moment for meditation to just calm myself and to be one with nature. And so through all of my episodes, you'll see me balancing stones. I'm pretty sure of that. I'm always climbing on things. I'm kind of like a kid. I'm always playing around doing dumb shit. You have to remember to be a big kid and do silly shit because well, that's life, man. You can't always be serious. You can't always be hustling and working. That's not why I got into this. I'm not doing this to work all the time. I'm doing this because I want to be free. I want to inspire more of you to follow your dream, to get that band, to get that schooling, to get whatever it is that you want to get. I want to inspire you. I want you to be a part of this community because it's an ever expanding and ever growing community and we're only getting bigger. So come along with me on my vlog adventures and I promise you, you will stay entertained. <laughs> if I was here at night and by myself in the dark, I would be afraid of the trees. Woo! <laughs> it's a giant rock. I don't know what it is though. It's the legit mystery machine. What? That's crazy. Oh my God, that dial tone is bringing back memories. Oh, me. I gotta get out of here. Get it. <laughs> so. Nice. Woo. Okay, that's cold, but I fucking need it. I need it. I need it. I need it. Oh my God. Oh Jesus. Fucking goddamn Christ. Oh. And, uh, oh, she's nice. Anyways, oh, Griselda, she started following me. That was that cute girl from T-Mobile. She was just like, oh, God, 
this keeps happening to me. So I'll get like a cute girl and she'll be like, oh, you're a YouTuber, I wanna follow you. And then I'll be like, yeah, I haven't started it yet. And they're like, oh, that sucks. <laughs> So if after all of this, you enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button, definitely hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next episode.